The United States has more than 330,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases, with the death toll close to 10,000 as of Sunday evening. This is the data from Johns Hopkins University. The New York Times reported on Sunday that Captain Brad Crozier, the Navy captain who was removed from the command of the coronavirus striking aircraft carrier Theodore Roosevelt, has tested positive for COVID-19. According to the report, Crozier showed symptoms before he was relieved of his duty on the warship Thursday. Crozier sent a five-page internal letter earlier this week to the Navy's Pacific Fleet, pleading for help from the Pentagon to contain a COVID-19 outbreak aboard the Roosevelt by transferring 90 percent of the crew onto Guam for quarantine. The letter was first made public by the San Francisco Chronicle. U.S. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper said Sunday that an investigation into Crozier's actions is ongoing. U.S. President Donald Trump said that he supported Crozier's firing, adding it was terrible what he did. The Democrats, however, condemned the Navy. Democratic lawmakers in both the Senate and the House asked for a probe into the matter, while presidential candidate Joe Biden hailed Crozier as being faithful to his duty, both to his sailors and his country. According to Mark Esper, there have been 155 confirmed COVID-19 cases among sailors on board the Roosevelt. More than half of the 5,000 crew have been tested, and there have been no hospitalizations. Tan Yixiao, Xinhua News, Washington.